Hello. Recently, an acquaintance loaned me one of these smart cute bots. And as you can see, it's got two wheels with a motor attached to each. And you can drive it by saying how much power goes to each wheel. Also, if you have two micro bits, this is a micro bit, you can use one as a remote control for this car. So you tilt it to the left and you want to move the car left. Tilt it to the right and move the car to the right and so on. So let's look at how we might do this. Here in makecode.microbit.org, we can create a project for a cute bot. And if we go to advanced and extensions, we can add an extension for the cute bot. Here it is. And that gives us these blocks here. So what I want to use is this one, set the left wheel speed and the right wheel speed. And I want to set those based on the tilt of the micro bit that's acting as the remote control. So when the remote control is tilted all the way to the left, it has uh, acceleration on the x-axis of minus 1023. And if it's tilted all the way to the right, then it's plus 1023. And so let's look at what I did here. Here's the program for the controller. And first it sets the radio group. And that's just to keep people from interfering with each other when they're using the, the radio for communication. And then in this forever loop, we just continually send the acceleration on the x-axis divided by 1023. So as I said, the values are minus 1023 to plus 1023. If we divide that by 1023, then we produce a more useful number that goes from minus one to plus one. And it just does this um, with a half second pause after each radio send. Okay, so then that takes us to the program that controls the car. And this I want to talk about a little bit. And I want to talk about how you can take that number that goes from minus one to one and turn it into two numbers that are the percentages of power to be applied to each wheel. So here I did this work in a better tool for Python programming. And um, I played around a little bit and came up with this algorithm here. Tilt to wheel power. So you give it a tilt, which is that minus one to plus one. And it returns two numbers, two integers. The percentage of power to go to the left wheel and the percentage of power to go to the right wheel. So I'll take you through the code in a minute. But first I want to show you the tests I made to demonstrate that this works. So where you see F, just imagine it says tilt to wheel power because I've just made kind of a short name for that function just to make this a little bit more readable. So if there's no tilt, then you have max power to the left wheel and max power to the right wheel. And let's say you have maximum left tilt. You're calling the function with minus one. Then in order to move left, the left wheel has to stop spinning or slow down, and the right wheel keeps going. Can you imagine that? Uh, the wheel on the side that you're turning towards slows down, and that makes the car turn that direction. And then um, for moving to the right, which has a tilt of positive one, we apply max power to the left wheel and no power to the right wheel. So the right wheel stops. The left wheel continues. That causes a right turn. Uh, let me run these tests, and that'll demonstrate to you that uh, this works. So here, all five of the tests passed. Um, also, I can I have this little loop here that just shows values. Um, 
it shows the results when we call the function with different, different uh, tilts. So minus one, which means we want it, we've tilted to the left, we want to move to the left, gives us a left power of zero and a right power of 20. So that's right. The right wheel gets more power and that makes a left turn. And then as you can see, the power on the left side is increased as we get more and more close to straight ahead. And then it's at max power. Okay, so let's look now at how this function here works. Uh, it's called tilt to wheel power. And as I said, we give it a number from minus one to plus one and it returns the left wheel power and the right wheel power. And so um, I'm going to skip this function for a moment. And then given a tilt, I create two variables from it, the left tilt and the right tilt. And these are both going to be positive numbers. So assuming there is a left tilt, tilt will be negative. And so if we take the minimum of a negative number and zero, it's going to be that negative number. Um, if there were, if we really had right tilt, the positive number here, then min of some positive number and zero would give you zero. And so the left tilt then would be, would be zero. Um, let me talk about the, the um, negation here. So in the case of a negative number, let's say it's negative 0 0.5, the minimum of negative 0 0.5 and 0, the smaller of those, is the negative 0 0.5. And then we negate it, so now we have 0 0.5. So we've, we want to tilt left by 1 half. And the right tilt is similar. So let's say you want to tilt positive 0 0.5. So the max of positive 0 0.5 and 0 is 0 0.5. So that's our right tilt. And then we want to compute the left power based on the left tilt and the right tower based on, sorry, the right power based on the right tilt. Uh, let's look at how this function works now. So this power function takes the tilt and gives you a power with a number between 0 and 100, or actually between 0 and max power. So first, based on the tilt, we compute a power reduction. So if you're tilting by 1, which means all the way, then you're going to your power reduction is going to equal max power. And so what you're going to return is a 0. Um, so let's say you're tilt is zero, then max power times zero is zero, so you're not reducing the power at all. Uh, okay, so then it's a matter, now that the code is tested, just copying and pasting it into here, which I've done. And um, this is what the finished program looks like for controlling the car um, in Python. And this part you've seen before. I had to take out the type hints because apparently um, makecode.microbit.org doesn't support type hints in the Python. Uh, but everything else is the same here. Um, then here we're, we're creating a, a function and then um, saying that we want to call this function every time we receive a number from the radio. So uh, why do we receive numbers from the radio? That's what's happening from the remote control um, with a half a second delay in between each. We're sending the number between minus one and plus one. So then we um, have another little function here for button pressed. And this is kind of for testing. So if you press the button, it just sends a number 0 0.5, which means you want to make a kind of like a halfway, half speed um, right turn or half, half rate right turn. And then this says uh, when the button is pressed, do this code above. And then here's the radio set group. So that's it. That's how I wrote code to drive 
this Qtbot based on input from another microbit that's acting as a remote control. See you next time.